Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got quite a few things to go over. We have some more details on the latest update for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. There's more soundtrack news for Legends Arceus and a few other things to talk about today. So plenty of things to cover. If you are excited for the video though, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, we're going to be taking a look at the new information about the most recent update for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. It's all to do with shiny hunting and more specifically the chain radar method. So basically in a previous update, whether it was version 1.1.1 or version 1.1.2, they messed up the odds a little bit for the radar chaining method. So basically it acted like even if you'd caught the Pokemon, whether it was one, two or three spots away from you, the game still acted like you killed it. So it would basically make the odds worse for you. If, if it was four away, like usual when you're normally radar chaining then it was fine but if it was anything below that killing it or catching it made no difference whereas usually catching it would give you a higher chance of keeping the chain alive um but yeah for whatever reason in a previous update um they they I think they messed up or something uh, and they made it so it was the same rate as you can see here this is the kind of graph thing that we're going on um so this is what it was in version 1.1.2 as you can see the tile distance even if you ko'd the mon or you captured the mon it was still a 53 percent chance of keeping the chain alive with a tile distance of one tile distance of two or 63 percent chance tile distance of three it was a 73 percent chance and then a tile distance of four it was an 83 percent chance if you ko'd them on and then a 93 percent chance if you caught it so what was supposed to happen is every time you catch them on it was supposed to give you an extra 10 percent chance so this is 93 this was supposed to be 83 this was supposed to be 73 and this was supposed to be 63 and that's what it originally was when the games came out um, but for whatever reason they messed up um, but then in the latest update for version 1.1.3 this was all um, found out by Anubis by the way I'll take a look at the tweet in a second as you can clearly see it has been restored to what it formerly was so when you KO the Pokemon it's still 53% which is what it should be but then of course when you capture it one tile away it is now 63% chance to keep the chain alive so yeah I, I don't know why they messed it up so bad uh, it must have been a mistake I don't think they purposely made it harder and then made it easier i think generally just messed up and now they've restored it to what it was so now it is better to catch the pokemon um if you are well it's always better to catch the pokemon anyway because it gives you a higher chance um but yeah if you are only one two or three tiles away from the pokemon uh, or the shaking patch um yeah it still is now much better to catch the pokemon so that has been restored which is very very good of course they're not going to talk about that in any patch details because um this is kind of like the coding of the game and everything and they don't really go into detail about that um but of course a huge shout to anubis for obviously covering this and they said regarding bdsp version 1.1.3 pokey radar chain continuation rates reverted to the original um plus 10 percent rates at every distance for capture radar iv still only awarded at chain lengths of exactly 10 20 30 and 100 radar shiny patch rates the same as before and the shiny charm is the same as before as well so the shiny charm still does not affect this method again i'm glad it doesn't because i think if the shiny charm affected this method it would just be so so busted and then he goes on to say uh, correction the radar ivs are at 20 30 40 and 100 is getting late so yeah basically when you hit 10 20 30 40 100 whatever um you you will obviously have like the perfect iv well not perfect well you'd have so many perfect ivs i don't know why there's such a massive jump from 40 to 100 uh, well it's 20 30 40 not 10 20 30 that's that's the mistake they made so yeah you get basically perfect ivs um how many you get I, I guess i mean it's at least two um on 20 30 40 and 100 i don't know why there's a massive jump from 40 to 100 it is just how it goes I don't know but anyway huge shout out to anubis nice to know that the shiny radar chaining method is now fixed and it is not broken anymore next up we're going to take a look at this so if you didn't know i covered it in yesterday's video uh there was basically a new orchestrated performance for pokemon diamond and pearl that went live on the japanese youtube channel this morning and uh, pldh tweeted out saying you can now listen to and watch the archive of the special pokemon diamond and pearl orchestra suit 
On top of Cynthia's battle theme, which was winner of the fan vote, the full performance includes live renditions of Diamond and Pearl's opening music and Cynthia's encounter theme. I watched this this morning. It's a banger. I can't play it during the video because of copyright reasons and stuff like that. But of course, this tweet will be linked in the description down below if you do want to go check it out. This is just the YouTube link. Um, so yeah, if you've got nothing to do today and you want to hear a banging performance of Cynthia's theme and stuff like that, definitely go check it out. It is a really, really cool performance. I really enjoyed it. It's not the longest thing ever, um, but it is a really, really cool thing. Um, so yeah, make sure to go check that out if you do want to see that orchestrated performance. Taking up the next thing that we're going to be talking about in today's video is this. Now, this could mean nothing or it could mean something. So basically, the Japanese official Twitter account tweeted this out saying from Saturday, January the 8th, 2022, which is a Saturday. It's not next Saturday because that's the 1st of January. It's the Saturday after that. Um, they say the invitation campaign from the Jade region, so that's Hisui region, will be held at Pokemon centers nationwide. A Nazo Toki event Pokemon survey report restoration challenge will be held in collaboration with the mystery solving creator group Riddler. Please check it out. So this could mean that they're like trying to solve something. And then after that, we get information about it. Maybe like maybe there's a I don't know, like a interactive thing. And, and it's like a Hisuian Electrode or Hisuian Arcanine. Um, kind of riddle and then this riddle group has to crack the code and then once they do the Pokemon gets announced Maybe they do something like that because of course on the 8th of January after that There's not that many weeks left before Legends Arceus comes out I'd like to think we're gonna get a trailer before the 8th of January and this might just be nothing and it might just be a little fun thing that they're doing um, But either way, I hope we get some sort of news before um, that that day 8th of January because yeah the, the the games come out not long at all after that so um yeah again this could like I say mean absolutely nothing it could just be like a fun tv show kind of thing or it could just be something in relation to a new pokemon reveal or something like that but either way uh make sure to you know keep your eyes peeled on January the 8th because there could be something uh relating to this in um Pokemon Legends Arceus. Next up, talking about Pokemon Legends Arceus, this was posted on the r slash PokeLeaks Reddit by OK Discipline, and they have made the connection um, from a previous trailer, um, which is, of course, the kind of remastered or like sort of kind of um, retelling soundtrack um, of Eterna City. So I'm going to take a listen to this because I'm hoping it's a banger. It's actually Celestic Town, should I say. It's not Eternal City, it's Celestic Town. But anyway, this is the Celestic Town music, which we all know and love. It's a banger. We love it. Okay. And then, I'm not going to play it all. And then it goes on to this, which is the Legends Arceus version. It's a banger. I like it. So yeah, basically, what does this mean? Uh, it basically means that um, they're basically kind of, even though these towns don't exist in Pokemon Legends Arceus, like Celestic Town, for example, um, it's nice to know that the theme of that town is still present in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So they're still kind of capturing those areas and stuff and kind of remaking them in Legends Arceus, but just in the form of like soundtracks and stuff. So It'd be really, really cool if, like, let's say you go to the part of the Hisuian region where Celestic Town would be, and when you enter that part of the map, the Celestic Town music starts playing. I think it'd be a nice little throwback to show, like, that is where Celestic Town will be built in the Sinnoh region. Um, but either way, it's still a really, really cool little kind of um, call out to Celestic Town. Uh, and I'm guessing they're going to do more and more themes of, like this in different locations for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Um, so yeah, just wanted to kind of cover that for you guys today and of course shout out to OK Discipline for realizing that. Finishing things off though, we have a little bit more information to take a look at about the story of Pokemon Legends Arceus. So basically the Chinese Riddler tweeted out yesterday saying, uh, well 24% hit the correct answer, yeah game more like um, LGDP. So yeah, basically he, he put out like a poll and it was like whoever guesses the correct answer um, gets like a little bit more information or something like that. Um, and I, I, I don't know, I, I, I'm guessing that's Let's Go Diamond and Pearl is, is what he's kind of referenced and there is LGDP. And this person here um, replied saying, Hey Koo, could you go a bit further into detail about the story? I'm aware you said it's multi-layered and con, uh, convoluted, but I'm wondering if it's good or bad and what the main focus of the story is besides completing the Hisuian decks. 
and then there's kind of like a little twitter thread he says dude it's a pokemon game pokemon games are never story driven multi-layered and complicated are the results compared with other mainline ones so he's basically kind of comparing uh, legends arceus storyline with any other storyline of any other pokemon game legends arceus is more uh, multi-layered and complicated as a storyline compared to like your fire red and leaf green storyline or your gold and silver or whatever then he goes on to say black and white and sun and moon were very story driven though if it's like that is what i'm asking obviously it's not going to have an a plus master police story with deep characters i mean all stories of pokemon games are just met boys and girls save the world and pet legendary dogs where people thought this time they would be uh they like the last of us so yeah he basically people have got like the idea that this story game the storyline of pokemon legends arc is gonna be like massive it's gonna be like crazy like the last of us or god of war or something like that that isn't the case it's still gonna be a very much a pokemon kind of story like game where it isn't apparently heavily focused on it even though i feel like it has to be heavily focused on the storyline because it's a single player game so what else is there like there's nothing to do online apart from trading so i'd like to think it's somewhat story driven uh but we'll have to see what happens when the actual game comes out but yeah just a little bit more information from the chinese riddle that i wanted to go over today that is going to be everything for today's video though i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to drop a like down below let's try and hit 500 likes it really helps out leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video subscribe if you're brand new for daily pokemon content but that's everything from me though have a fantastic rest of your day have Merry Christmas as well, of course. And then, uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next one. So until then, peace.